notification volume, zero percent. Good afternoon. Let me dance this around to make sure it's in focus. Catch it, catch it, camera. Okay, cool. All right. Good afternoon. I am Blind Prime, and this is more than meets the eye. And for today, I have for you the Bumblebee movie deluxe class Ratchet. Here he is, in uh, in his uh, Bumblebee movie Cybertronian shape. And, well, we're going to talk about it today. Not very excited about it. I uh, don't really like this guy. Uh, we'll get into it, and then we'll start talking about it. So first off, like always, we're going to discuss the height. We always discuss the height first, give you an idea. So here we go, bring out the handy-dandy Lego pad, and slide it in. There we go. Yeah. My uber approximation he's 17 studs tall at the head make sure that's right yep he's not a very tall guy he's not a very tall guy at all and here is bumblebee bumblebee crap you're not bumblebee oh you're bumblebee here you are there's a bumblebee for a comparison we we'll get the earthrise bumblebee right there in front of him we're gonna Hold your gun up. Just, just hold it up. His gun sucks. All right. Here's a comparison of the ratchet next to Bumblebee. Here's a good side by side. Ratchet's arm, of course, can come up. A ratchet's arm can come over Bumblebee's shoulder. He can do that. Bumblebee's head stands almost all the way up to the chest of Ratchet. Ratchet and Bumblebee are n are barely different in height. Ratchet's uh, shoulder joint is just above Bumblebee's head. There we go. All right, we'll talk about the accessory since it just fell off. Uh, he comes with a gun. That uh, gun's not really a great gun. And it's, um, it's kind of a pity gun. It's a piddly gun. It's got this weird square bit on the edge, and I'm wondering if it's supposed to connect to something else. But I'm not, not really sure about that. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an okay gun, but it's not what I wanted with a ratchet. You know, Ratchet is the, he's the medic of the group. He is known to be a medic. He's, he's known to repair other robots. And I think it'd been really cool if we had gotten something that could be used as some sort of repair device. I mean, Ratchet coming with a gun, he always comes with guns. And nobody seems to really complain. Hasbro doesn't seem to fix it. But it, it's kind of like, if, if Hasbro released the G.I. Joe Lifeline with a bazooka, People would have problems with that. They, they'd be like, but Lifeline is a medic. Lifeline is a medic. Why does he need bazooka? Why doesn't he get cool medic stuff? Can you get cool medic stuff? And Hasbro would give them cool medic stuff. But when it comes to Transformers, Hasbro's like, oh, he's a medical robot. Let's give him a big gun. Because that's what a medic needs. He needs a big gun. He doesn't need some sort of tool to that you can set up in your displays of having him repair other Autobots during the war. Nope, he gets a big gun because the the doctor has a gun and it doesn't even heal. It isn't like Team Fortress 2. That gun at least heals. Um, so that's the gun. I'm not really happy with the gun. I'm not really happy with a lot of this figure, to be honest with you. It's, um, it, it sucks. This figure sucks. It's, it's, all right, we're just going to talk about something that I really dislike when it comes to Transformers, and that's hollowness. Like, there's no need for a lot of hollowness. You can fix the hollowness these days. There, Hasbro has shown us that they have done transformations where their panels open up and fists go into panels, or fists twist in a unique way that this fist doesn't even turn, and, and then they can just turn and fold, you know, push into the 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 chamber i've also seen it where there's a little latch that you can pull up and pull the fist into you know this this whole folding the fist into the arm thing is getting really old um I, i've seen the advances in technology with other transformers and the ability for there not to be as much hollowness they have shown us that they can do this but yet they still give us these giant hollow things and you know it would turn him around and you can see the greatest hollowness like it, his entire lower leg is hollow 
and I get it, you know, the leg is supposed to like fold in on itself and stuff, but it's still unnecessary. It's, it's unnecessary. And you know what else is unnecessary about this? We'll talk about the legs, because there's something unnecessary with the legs. On the inside of each leg is a wheel. On the outside of each leg is a false wheel. Why is there a false wheel on the outside of the leg? It, why does the transformation require us to spin the legs all the way around to put the actual working wheels inside and the, the, the fake wheels on the outside? You could have given us some cool armor. You could have given us some paneling or something there. Something to make him like cool and for a reason for the legs to spin around so that the wheels are on the inside. Like, I don't understand why this transformer has false wheels on the exterior. What, what, what use is that? Why? Why do these even exist? Why are there false wheels on the, on the edges of these legs? It doesn't make any sense to me. Furthermore, these legs only have a 90 degree bend. Even with the transformation aspects, these knees can't bend further than 90 degrees. And there's no double hinging in the knees. It's just one hinge. And it's terribly done. It, it, does, it just folds up, and then the, lay, the foot is supposed to fold into that giant hollow section. And just, you could have done something else there, Hasbro. You could have, for the prices you're asking for this, you could have done something else. Now, we get up to the arms. I've talked about that. Uh, there, there are no siege ports. You know, screw having expansion ports for you to put extra weapons anywhere else. No, no, no. None of that. His, uh, the front of his chest sticks out really, really far, like he's got a mono nipple, and, uh, I don't know why this guy needs a mono tit. He didn't, he didn't require a mono tit, but his entire front comes out to be a mono tit, but it's not a mono nipple because the nipple edge is, it's just sheared off. It, it comes up, and then it's like somebody looked and went, oh, crap, there's a nipple on this robot. I better cut that off and just sliced it off on the top. And I just, Why? You know, the only, the only good things I can say about this figure is the head sculpt's pretty cool. It's got a cool little little doohickeys that come up the sides. It's a ratchet head sculpt, but it's, it's, it's a little more armor. And he's, he's got a thicker neck. It's a, it's a ratchet that's been chowing down on the Big Macs for a long time. He's got that thick neck, you know? <laughs> uh, we spin him around to the back, and this, the backpack is honestly the best part about this figure. And that sucks. Whenever I have to say the best part is usually the worst part about any figure. You know, his backpack is slim. It's cut down. It's so smooth. It's got even cool backpack textures. It's a fun back area. It's just a flat back. But there's no siege ports. They could have put some siege ports back here. They could have put some expansion ports. But, you know, they, they did give us a nice back. And that is so rare in, in Transformers. But, you know, this is due to the transformation, and it doesn't really peek in very well, because you can easily just unfold this. There's no snapping this into place. And when you unfold the backpack, you notice that the wheels are actually hidden in there. Uh, it, they just kind of fold close. It, it's a reverse Optimus Prime. It, it, it's like they took Optimus Prime's chest and turned it into this guy's back, because the, the Optimus Prime chest acts the same exact way. It, it, it just folds out a little easier. It's, this guy's also loose. Wasn't expecting the sheer amount of looseness in a figure that's brand new. Like, why is there so much looseness in this when Braun was so tight? Why? Why does this happen? What is this guy? And what's going on with Hasbro? What is, what is this? You know, I was hoping for some better engineering here, but this is just... You know, I understand why nobody's buying up these ratchets. Like, at least they fixed the problem with all the Transformers having thin thighs. I mean, this guy's got some nice thunder thighs. You know, he's got a thick neck and thunder thighs and a mono tit, you know? <laughs> I almost expect to find this guy in Fight Club. Oh, and uh, his arms do get a 90 bend on them, but then they get an exact nine, uh, 90 bend on the reverse as well. And because of the way the shoulders are set up, it's just... He doesn't really actually have much of an upper arm. It's just kind of his bite, his, uh, his, uh, lower arm area, forearm, just intersects into his shoulder, and that's, that's it. He's, it, it's sad. It, it's sad, and I recommend, don't even bother picking this guy up, unless, unless you really, really enjoy the look of him. His transformation's okay, and I'm gonna get into his transformation tomorrow. 
Um, but overall, this guy is just... He's not worth the money. Wait, wait for him to show up on clearance. Alright, that's been my review. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Until next time.